What's happening guys? I hope you've had an awesome start to the week. So we've just entered into week six of this eight week challenge. Now, uh, obviously every week we've been doing a mini challenge and this week, the mini challenge is gonna be an interesting one because I think it's gonna be challenging um, and amongst all the other challenges that we've gonna, we're gonna add into this week, okay? So just before I tell you what the next challenge is, I still want you to add in uh, your intention for the week, how many workouts you wanna do, one of five, one of six, one of four, whatever it may be. As you've done the workout, throw it onto the group, keep everyone accountable. There's been numerous people messaging me saying that just by seeing people um, stating on the group how many workouts they've done for the week, it motivates them to get their workout in. So keep loading uh, your intention for the week, how many workouts you intend to do. Um, I want to see, see those numbers coming through. I want to still see you guys doing 10,000 steps in the day. Still want to do a fast at least once a week, uh, wherever in the, in the week, later in the week preferably. Uh, it can be a 12, 16 or 18 hour fast, 24, whatever you feel like. Um, I would ideally like to see you guys still doing a cold plunge at least 11 minutes a week, just like we've been doing right up until now. Um, and then also looking after your light environment um, after sunset. Okay, so those are the challenges that we've already done. So keep doing them, okay? Every single one of those challenges is geared towards helping you um, lose a bit of weight, feeling more energetic, getting more productive workouts, recovering very well. Um, so keep doing the same challenges we've had every week, just add them into this week. And they're gonna add in this one. So this week's mini challenge is you are going to drop carbs through the day and you're gonna have it at night before dinner. Or you're gonna have your carbs at night for dinner. It's gonna help you sleep better, it's gonna help you fuel your next workout, it's gonna help improve insulin sensitivity, um, it's going to be good for you to start looking at different things outside of the, the normal things that you normally go to, like bread and potatoes and rice. Um, so you're going to have to start looking at alternative sources to get through the day and then have your carbs at night. Now, if you're not sure what carbs are, if you're not sure if, uh, um, you know, if a food group is considered a carb or a protein or whatever, just post it onto the group and then we'll confirm with you. For example, if you see butternut, is butternut a carb or what kind of, is, is it high in carb, is it low in carb or is pumpkin, you know, for, to answer that question, butternut I'll consider is slightly higher carb than, than pumpkin, pumpkin is lower carb. So if you're not sure, then throw it onto the group, but you want to try and keep your carbs below 20 grams, which is very difficult, through the day and then have your carbs at night for dinner, okay. So that's the challenge of this week. If you're not sure exactly, send me a message. I'll, I'll voice note you back just to give you, put you on the right page. Uh, and the, the reason why we're doing this challenge this week is to, like I said, it's going to fuel your, your workout the next day. It's going to improve insulin sensitivity. It's going to improve the way your body uses energy. It's going to use energy instead of storing energy. And it's just also going to just throw something in the mix to help fast track weight loss. Because um, this week, at the end of this week, week six, we are going to be taking your next measurements, okay? But then, after this week, we're not gonna take your measurements again until the end of the challenge. So, I really want you guys to work hard this week to make sure that you do this challenge well. Take carbs out for the week. We can introduce it again next week, depending on how you go. Um, so, take your carbs out during the day, replace them at night before bed, and, uh, and also contrary to what some of you might believe, taking your carbs and putting them at night is not going to make you fat. Don't believe that nonsense. So uh, it, it depends on what you do during the day and through the week, how your body uses energy. Okay, so don't be worried. I'm not going to make you fat. I'm actually trying to help you lose more weight. So take the carbs out during the day. If you have breakfast with toast, you're going to take the toast out. If you have uh, if you have fruit in your smoothies, you're going to take the fruit out. You're going to make sure you keep it low carb during the day and take your, and then you can have your carbs at night. You're going to enjoy a nice satisfactory, rewarding, um, hard-earned meal before bed. So you'll have a nice full tummy and you'll feel good uh, as, as you go to bed um, and then you wake up in the next day with a lot of energy again. So um, that's the challenge for this week. I'd like, you, I'd like you guys to get stuck in there. And just remember, week six now is again another big week if you're looking to hit the end of this, this challenge on a good note. You wanna have a good week this week. Take the carbs out, replace it at night for dinner, um, you know, look after light environment, get your steps up, get your 10,000 steps. If you're not getting your 10,000 steps, get as close to 10,000 as you can um, and really work hard at getting your, tra your training in, okay? So by the time Friday, Saturday comes, you should be feeling a little bit tired. If you're feeling a little bit tired on Friday, Saturday, physically, uh, then you know that you've had a really good training week. 
So I just want to encourage you guys, keep pushing hard, keep loading the group with the, the, your intentions for the week, how many workouts you'd like, how many workouts you'd like to do. Um, and if you've got any other questions, just load it onto the group there. This is the time to use us, you know, use the group. If you're not sure of something, chuck a question on there. You know, if you're not sure of anything with regards to the diet, if you want to, you know, pick my brain, then send me a message. Okay. Let's have a good week. I'll talk to you guys soon.